Ah, the wonderful world of electricity. They say that in the year 1752, Benjamin Franklin conducted an experiment using a kite and a key on a rainy day. They also say that GE Motor Company is paving the way for electric cars. Well, I don't buy either of those goddamn stories, and I also don't buy into the current narrative that electric sailboats are available for the average cruiser. And I'm about to explain exactly why I think that is 100% not true. Story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Now we all know that regardless of what we're told, Elon Musk brought the revolution of the electric car to the masses at an affordable price. We also know that Uber killed the taxi and that gas prices are currently absolutely outrageous. But what do we know about electric sailboats? Well, in reality, we don't know much. On YouTube, there's a fantastic couple called Sailing Uma. Now they have an electric sailboat brought to you by Oceanvolt, a fantastic company and breaking ground in the world of electric sailing. But does that mean that the technology is there and ready for the average cruiser? Well, in reality, it is not. Here's what we're looking at. Now, if we pop on over to that fantastic couple's website, Sailing Uma, they kind of break down some of the cost for their electric setup. Now, in the gist of things, they say it costs right around 1400 bucks. They got a used motor for right around 500, some batteries for 500, and 400 bucks for the solar charger panels and things like that however this is a heavily sponsored channel congratulations high five that's amazing but in this particular scenario they are incredibly industrious these guys work very very hard to get the best parts they can afford for the least amount of money but then on top of that they've had companies come in and sponsor some of the major components so i don't think looking at sailing uma and saying oh it's only 1400 bucks is really a good guideline to follow in the world of electric motors. We all know the industrious people. There's the neighbor that runs to Walmart, fills up 19 shopping carts. She's a full-time couponer. She gets to check out. It's 99 cents. That girl's a legend. That's just like Sailing Uma. These guys refit an inexpensive boat over the years with the help of sponsors and their ingenuity and have done a fantastic job at a very nice price point. However, for the average consumer, that's incredibly hard to do. Sailing Uma is really, really talented when it comes to being industrious and putting things together on top of it like i said they have some amazing sponsors behind them and that's awesome but for the average consumer doing what they did is i would say next to impossible especially with without the sponsors i would say it's 100 percent impossible unless you spent a ton more cash even with the sponsors because they are so industrious i'd say it would be really really hard for the average consumer to be able to do that so what are we looking at in the world of electric sailing for the average consumer to go out and buy what they would call a plug and play system now i don't know about you i am not an electric engineer but the world of sailing electronics is really not that difficult now if you can piece together some different things you can absolutely save money in the world of sailing just like you can in any other hobby or thing that you do in life doing your research and oftentimes buying the components separately from different companies and putting them together you can save a lot of money people do it every day in the world of pc building but for the average consumer running out and buying the plug and play system let's break down some of the costs i can assure you the costs of these are absolutely outrageous and before i get started an open call to elon musk come over to the world of sailing and help us get on the water efficiently and electronically while putting out far less emissions elon musk where are you let's get going i'm pretty sure that guy could bang this out in about six months because well He's a goddamn genius. Now, Ocean Volt, I'm not sponsored by these guys, unfortunately, sad day. I'm just mentioning them because I think they're doing a fantastic job. They're really paving the way in the world of electric sailing and they're doing incredible. But 
The problem is the cost is incredibly prohibitive. Now, OceanVolt has numerous different systems from shaft drive 5 all the way up to twin shaft drive 20. They got sail drive 8 all the way up to sail drive 15 and numerous options here. But the biggest concern in the world of electric anything is always range. And oftentimes when people discuss electric sailboats, that's the big issue. Now, if you're going to go and cross oceans, in my opinion, it would be really, really difficult for me to go on an ocean crossing when I know that in my battery bank for my motor I've only got about 30 nautical miles at around six knots now that's just give or take plus or minus but that's about the range we're looking at for the higher end electric systems now if I'm crossing the Atlantic let's say it's gonna take me somewhere between 17 and 21 days I might run into some storms I might need to motor because there's no wind and the less time we spend at sea, the safer we're going to be. So my biggest concern is going to be having enough range on my electric motor to really go in case of an emergency, as well as the speed. Now, if I look at the least expensive option, or I guess what I can figure out seems to be about the least expensive plug and play option over on OceanVolt, we are looking at a fairly expensive system. It looks like it'd be the shaft drive five and prices start from around 6,000 euro. But this doesn't include the batteries, the charger or the propeller. And we all know batteries are incredibly expensive. And this is only a six to 15 horsepower equivalent motor. We all know that the average cruising sailboats 35 feet. That's just the most popular average size. Sailboat cruisers generally roll around on 35 to 42 footers. That's just the average size. It is what it is. And a 6 to 15 horsepower motor cannot power a 35 to 42 foot sailboat. It's not enough juice and you will be getting nowhere near the 20 nautical mile range. So we need to step up into a bigger system again for the plug and play consumer. So what are we looking at there if we go to the next system? Well, we realistically need to pop up to the sail drive 15. Now this is suitable for up to a 45 foot vessel, it's 30 to 45 horsepower equivalent, but again, our range is only 25 nautical miles, unfortunately, and the charging time is around 8 hours. This system comes in at 47,000 euro. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correct, 47,000 euro for what I would consider the plug and play system needed for the average cruiser and in my opinion this still doesn't meet what i would think are the requirements for serious ocean crossing you have to have range on your engine when you're going to be crossing oceans there are always things coming up out of nowhere no wind storms things like that we've got currents all kinds of things we need juice and lots of it just in case of emergency and at forty-seven thousand euro and I still don't have what I would think is that peace of mind. I don't know. It's kind of hard to bite into. That's a lot of money. And I'm sure this does a fantastic job. But for me personally, I'd like to see around a minimum of 100 nautical miles. I would feel a heck of a lot more confident on ocean crossings with a range of 100 nautical miles at minimum. So is the technology there? Ah, we're really, really close. They're doing a great job. Uh, a little bit further range, I think, is what we need. And then obviously we need the price to come down. Now, OceanVolt has also partnered with Ellen Yachts. And they're putting out some fantastic stuff. So, it's there, but it's just expensive. And it needs to come a little bit further. Like, it can get the job done. It's not perfect yet, but we're getting really, really close. I figure in about the next five years, we'll be there. So you let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think electric sailboats are there yet? Do you think they're price prohibitive? Do you think that that range is good enough? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions, I'm all in on this electric sailboat thing. And currently, I think OceanVolt is doing the best job at it. Uh, I think that will get the job done. Not ideal. And if you've got the cash, hey, go for it. Uh, but again, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Are there some other companies out there breaking ground in the world of electronic motors? Do you think that range is good? What do you think of the price? Tell me all about it in the comments below and let's get this sale electric thing going to Elon Musk. 
Maybe he can pop over and partner with Ocean Vault. Who knows? The world is your oyster and anything can be done. Tag Elon Musk in this and get his butt on board and get him over to Ocean Vault and let's get this thing moving along. We need to bring electronic sailing to the masses to help the environment here. Enough of this outrageous gas price oil thingy we're in and let's get going here. Now, if you are a budget-friendly sailor like myself, a fantastic way to save money is to become an American Sailing Association member. Now, I have a discount code linked in the description below. With becoming an American Sailing Association member, you do get access to dozens and dozens of other discounts and the membership lasts for an entire year. It's a fantastic way to save yourself money and get on the water sooner than later. Now, if you do need help getting on the water or narrowing down your boat purchase, or you just need some information and some help, consider heading on over to my website at chasinglatitudes.com. Over there, right on the homepage, you will see producer. Become a producer on the channel. With becoming a producer, you do get a one-on-one -on -one consult with me to discuss everything sailing related that you would need to, as well as you do get a year's access to our members area. Now, the members area is a fantastic place for information. We have hundreds of members over there all in various stages of starting sailing some have just purchased boats some are taking asa classes and so on it is a wealth of information and it's not a public forum it's a private members area so there's no harassment there's no bullying there's no judgment over there it's just a great place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later if you would like to, you can also just send me $100 directly through PayPal. The link is in the description below for that as well. Now, if that's a little bit too much for the bank account, I completely understand. However, consider joining Patreon. For only $10 a month, you do get access again to the members area, which is a fantastic place for information to help you get on the water sooner than later. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a comment down below. Like, share, all that good stuff. Make it go viral. I don't know. Do something. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so, so much for joining.